If you've ever wondered how difficult it is to cover a model aircraft, you've stumbled across the right video. All of these wings and surfaces that you're seeing here are made by covering balsa with iron on heat film, which shrinks tight around wooden airframes. It's actually fairly easy, so stick around to see how to cover a wing in this vintage model company quick guide. Step 1. Sand the wing. To make sure that the wing is prepared for covering, you'll need to sand it a little to get rid of any bumps and sharp edges. Grab some sandpaper that you have lying around somewhere, something between 120 and 600 grit should be fine. Whilst ensuring that you're not taking too much away, just lightly sand the ribs in the direction of the grain and round off the leading and trailing edges. We do actually have a dedicated video on sanding, so maybe check that out first. Step two is where we start cutting the covering to shape. We recommend Cover as it's quality stuff made in Germany and applies really well. It comes in many thicknesses, textures and colours. As we're covering a new simple cub, I went for this cub yellow. Mark out a shape just slightly bigger than the wing panel with a pencil. To cut out the shape, you can use a knife or you can use a pair of scissors. Step three is where we actually cover the wing. For this, you'll need a special modeling iron. The variable temperature on this one can be set using this switch. To start applying the covering, peel off the backing and lay the material out over your wing. The Orocover film has a heat activated adhesive on the rear side. To tack the material down, gently tap the film along the edges of the wing, making sure to get it nice and straight. Use the medium heat setting here as you don't want the film to shrink too much at this point. After this, you can start shrinking the material. This can be done by passing the head of the iron over the material on the high heat setting, or by using another special tool. You might benefit from using a heat gun, as this speeds things up while allowing contoured areas to tighten up and contract evenly. You could probably do this with a hairdryer too, but I haven't tried that, so yeah, maybe that's up to you. Take your time with the process and cover each side of the wing one shape at a time. All right, that's about it for this quick guide. So if you found it helpful, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.